What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Uh, it's Jake and it easy. My name is Mitch. Uh, today I'm going to go through how to change out your carburetor on your Troy built pony. I watched about a hundred YouTube videos on this and there was always a seven minute introduction to the video. The guy's backstory, his whole life, why he bought this Troy built, how his father lived and grew up on Troy belts. I'm not going to do that. We're going to learn how to change out a carburetor. I'm going to give you all the steps. I'm going to show you the confusing stuff that I could not find that I had to figure out on my own. So let's go. So. I went on handy dandy amazon.com and I bought the carburetor from them. So we're gonna see how this goes. That's 25 bucks carburetor. Pretty uh, pretty good deal. So what I'm gonna show you what my lawnmower is doing. I already pulled the carburetor off and cleaned it. But now I'm having, I think the float's sticking. problem. So the first step, I have a 3 8 wrench. I'm going to go ahead and uh, loosen the cap off of here so I have better access. There's a breather cover over here. I'm sorry, I already have it taken off. It's very simple to take off. Not with your day. These only have to be loosened. They don't have to be uninstalled. There are T45 in the front. They have to be loosened. Two T45s and two 3.8s to get this uh, cover off. And as I said, they only have to be loosened. They don't actually have to be fully uh, removed. We're actually in the middle of a tropical storm. Worst tropical storm ever. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take our air filter off. You can see mine's dirty. I'll clean that. Don't leave hate comments in my uh, inbox anymore. Now that we have this off, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get a set of pliers, which I have right over here. Just, I'm just gonna drain the tank. I have less than a gallon in there. It's not a big deal to me. So you're gonna disconnect your fuel line from your carburetor. Right here, that's your fuel line leading into your carburetor. I'm gonna disconnect it and dump it in there. Yeah, uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get a hate comment. Oh, you fool, you shouldn't play with gas. All right, your next step. This is your actual throttle. You're going to disconnect these. One and two. Get those disconnected. This you could disconnect once it's loose. This is what concerned me about changing this, was this is your choke, right? You see this little, I'm gonna try to get my finger there. This one right here is your choke. It leads back and it cuts right in here. Well, nobody explained to me that it's supposed to just sit in there, right? So that when your throttle comes up, it actually hits it, which sends this forward, if I could do any kind of camera work, and it actually chokes the motor, choking the motor. So that being loose is completely fine. You're not gonna have any issues. Next thing you wanna do, you're gonna go ahead and loosen these two bolts right here. This is what's called your breather, uh, breather tube. Pops right off. <clears throat> Those two bolts come off. And then it's actually another uh, a stud in here. So this comes off, you can go ahead and just, and this stud I think is an eight millimeter. Yeah, eight millimeter will work. And that stud runs all the way through your carburetor and into your intake. So we're just gonna disconnect the carburetor from the intake by doing this. This is a very simple thing. It's just, it's confusing because nobody really explains it well on the internet, on Google, YouTube. So I figured I'd make you a, a video. If I felt it was worth my time to pull this apart and clean it again, I would because my first time doing it, I actually got it to run again because it wasn't running at all. All right, that's disconnected now. We're gonna pull this out of the bottom. That's your fuel solenoid. And then this is simply, boom, you're off. T45 
Take these out. Out with the old, in with the new. All right, gang. I'm very, very, very surprised with this. Uh, $25 kit from Amazon because this is a brand new air filter, which I didn't even want. Well, not that I didn't want it, but. And we have our brand new carburetor. Oh, this is $25. Brand new carburetor. Really nice and clean. Uh, it actually is even surprising me more because it came with fuel lines. Brand new fuel lines. I guess the only thing this... Uh, and it came with a fuel filter. Get out of here. I recommend this kit. I'm going to put the link in the description because this is a really good deal. A really good deal. I'm not going to use half of this, but it's, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be nice having uh, spare parts for the mower. It's got a kill switch for your fuel, so I can put this in line, and then if I don't want to have the wow, that's a good idea. Uh, so these have a tendency to get fuel in the oil if something starts leaking. Um, so this is a cutoff switch, so you could actually shut the fuel off uh, when you're not using the mower, so you don't have to drain the... That's cool. All right, definitely buy this kit. Let me show you how to install it because I can't, I can't get over how awesome it is. So uh, it's going to be the exact same. We're repeating, uh, just in backwards, just in backwards. Welcome to the channel. I'm an illiterate. Uh, I would like you guys to set up your throttle linkage first. So your throttle linkage goes to the little white piece. Make sure you're around. See how? Okay. So this is something I want you to point out. Come here. This will fall off. You can actually just remove it. It is okay. You're not hurting anything if it falls off. So don't even worry about it. Install your throttle linkage. You could actually, and I'm gonna just say this, this is a disclaimer, I'm not recommending you do this. You don't even need your choke because half the time I don't even choke the motor. I've actually never choked the motor to be honest with you. So that's why I was so confused. I was like, what the hell is going on? That's hooked up. Cool. You guys like it? So repeat these steps and uh, make sure your spring's installed. I don't like how my spring looks. To be honest with you, it's kind of wrapped around the throttle. So I'm gonna redo that. All right, so I redid this spring just to make it look prettier because I'm a weird person, but reinstall your bolts. And I don't know if you could tell, I've been out in the garage for maybe seven minutes and I feel bad for my poor wife because we are both sweating a lot. I'm on pre-workout because I just did a little bit of an exercise, which isn't helping because my body temperature is already high. But this Florida weather in August is for the birds. You can keep it. I would say even all the way up to October, Florida's weather sucks. It's just my opinion. Okay, so I got that bolt in. We're gonna go ahead and put our breather tube back on. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna bother putting the choke back on. I'm not gonna choke this motor. It's not important to me. You do what you wanna do. Call me an idiot in the comments, I appreciate it. Uh, bad publicity is still publicity, so. Thanks for taking the time out of your very important day to call me insults. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I had a guy who had a, he th I guess he thinks he's a model because he's got like a little model picture for his uh, profile picture or his avatar. He called me the stupidest person he ever seen. Still viewed my video, so I'll take it. All right, let's go ahead and get our, our breather tubes hooked up. Our throttle linkage is hooked up. I have to hook up this right here, which is the fuel solenoid. And uh, blah, 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 blah. where are you? There you go. That's hooked up now. I'm gonna just make sure this runs first before I start hooking up that fuel um, shutoff valve, which I thought was very nifty. I'll get some fuel added back in and I'll see if I could get her started up. So my poor wife is sweating too much and I'm not doing much better than her. So I told her I'd take over from filming. So I'm gonna to try to get this cap or this cover reinstalled. I just wanna give you a, a real quick heads up. 
what you have to do with this. I can't turn the camera around, so it's gonna cut. So on your oil uh, dipstick, this actually slides in behind it. So you want the oil dipstick, where's my finger, to go behind this. So that way it keeps, because I didn't do that before and it jammed the oil dipstick into the flywheel. Excuse my throat for a second. So just make sure you're not touching the flywheel before you tighten all this down. And then I'm gonna tighten it down. You don't need to see that. You guys are, you know, handy if you're watching the, this channel or this video. I'll be back. For the sake of my sanity, I'm gonna just start it first. Before I snug everything down, I change my mind. That's awesome. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this all snug down. All I'm putting back on is the top, the four bolts. I'm gonna put the breather cap back on. That is how you change your own carburetor in less than 10 minutes. Thanks for coming to the channel. Like and subscribe. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't made much videos. I'm a broken record, I say this all the time, but work's busy. Uh, YouTube doesn't pay money, so this is just for fun. So I'll keep making stuff when I run into little projects to fix up and uh, how to do it, but other than that, I'll catch you guys next time.